So I'm thinking that it should come out to right at the edge of our driveway, which I'm not sure where our property line is. I would say it's right here, so it's probably like two feet on the property line, but I figure the driveway is a safe bet. And so that'll go over 15 feet, give us a two foot wide walkway. Or I can just have a very narrow path back here, which is plenty big enough for walking through. I was still wor a little worried about possible poison ivy over here, so I raked that back and took away basically the entire top half inch of junk, and there's a lot of glass and junk in there too, so probably a good idea. That helps fill that in. Then I came through and cut out a bunch of the roots and stuff like that, so if there is any poison ivy, it would just be some roots, and I'm not too worried about that. gotta admit the stuff coming out of here is just so dry you know maybe it's because there's not much plant material over this I know that um, without much plants here then the water kind of just runs off but I don't know I still find it surprising I hit clay already and I filled it up with water and it is just not absorbing it. So I'll let it sit out here over maybe an hour or so, maybe come back to it. But yeah, it's, it's a shame whenever you hit clay this high up because this entire area was built up. I was hoping it was mostly just built up with gravel and slag, but looks like someone got some clay. So that's an unfortunate. Well, anyway, I realized that I, I did this too far over that way by about that much. So I'll dig down and then I'll just break out the dirt and we'll open it this way. So instead of just continually trying to chip away at the, the hard clay down there, I fill with water, let it sit for a few hours, then come back and just, I can dig out like three inches in 30 seconds. Just a couple, like, like two passes with the auger and it just comes right out. And so what I do is I go through and I fill each one of the holes with water and then I come through and take them all down by three inches or so every couple hours and they're actually going pretty fast and that leaves time for me to do other things so I'm assessing how level the backyard is looks like it's off by a few inches maybe five inches but that area like right here is kind of a little higher so I think if I get that down that'll take off like an inch or two inches and that dirt I can move over here to bring that up like maybe like half an inch and so that could probably get the uh, the the levelness down to only like that much. So it's not too bad, although it would be nice to get it totally level, but I'm not sure if I can do that. And now I don't really need it to be level for like the floor, but I just want to make sure that whenever I start building this side of the shed, that it doesn't make the other side like stick into the ground. Because I've decided that the holes are going to be three and a half feet deep instead of four feet. So I will probably have to cut the four by fours, but I'll dig down to three and a half feet because four feet is proving to be a little too difficult. And I'll backfill with maybe five inches of rock, gravel, so there's a nice foundation for the pole to sit on. And then we'll have the 16 foot pole going up from the three feet or so up. And so that'll give us an extra foot of board. Well, I'm thinking I might actually make the walls like 12 foot six inches tall 
and have a little bit of brick coming up so the metal doesn't stay wet. So whenever it rains, the water splashes against the brick and, not, and it doesn't splash against the metal. And because it would be six inches up, I'd have a lot more clearance to where if this side was higher, it wouldn't be touching the metal and causing rust. It would be touching the brick because the metal would be up a couple inches. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I figured out where all the stupid mosquitoes are coming from. So my neighbor's table was upright and had like three inches of water in it. And over there, he has two 40 or maybe 60 gallon, eh, maybe like 45 gallon aquariums that were full of mosquitoes, some buckets. So I went ahead and cleaned all those up for him. And after a couple days, the mosquitoes are finally fucking off. So nice. I think this thing's pretty much moved up to the possibility and exceeded that. So digging out that area over there, lowered it by about two inches, and now it's to six inches, which that's kind of odd. I, I'm a terrible judge for Imperial, and so, yeah. Six inches is about my minimum, or my, the minimum amount that I get it down to. And I might smooth it out more, but I think six inches will be fine. I get the feeling we should probably fix our gutter. So here's where I'm at right now. I have it kind of spread over and I think it's going pretty well. But unfortunately my hoe, the metal is very flimsy and keeps bending. And plus the handle's too short. So, went out and got one with a nice long handle and got a matic or delabra, whatever you want to call it. see any markings on it so I guess it's really cheap or it's really old or both hard to tell Three foot, six inches exactly. Perfect. Good enough. More than good enough. Man, 12 feet. That's a lot. Makes me happy though. As long as we can get it to be structurally sound with the 4x4s. I know a lot of people are recommending 4x6s and 6x6s, but I think that might be a little bit 
more than I can handle. Because even with this, I can just still just barely pick it up. But I think that this will result in a building that is really big and just amazingly big. Not a tiny shed. No, I was just looking in. I need a second bag for this one? Uh, we still have like half, mm, not quite half a bag. We'll still got put more in. You know, I'm going to go like four inches from the top. I really fucked up on measuring this one. Okay. Everything drilled right here. That's okay. Uh, put this on there and leave it. Okay. See what it does. Since it's not quick creep, we may have to get quick creep. Let's we'll see what it does. How long does it take for this to go? I don't know. Looks like we have plenty of room to make it straight now and have about two inches around it so that's more than we gave on the other one the other one i forgot and only gave it like a half an inch on one side So I widened it up, so it'll be a couple inches around the 4x4, four four, maybe like 4 or 5 inches. There's metal there. Oh, it's just slags from the fire. That's odd. There's a piece of angle iron down there. Thankfully, it's just not in the way, so should be able to get around it. So this post seems to be turning out pretty well, although I wish I would have had more space around to put, to put more concrete around it. I don't know much I hadn't have drilled the hole wrong first, but it was a learning experience. And I think the next four holes are going to be a lot better. And 
yeah i'm just really happy with this but i think it's probably a good place to end this video in the next video we will fasten or secure these four poles and then i can mark out and start drilling drilling the other ones so there'll be five six seven holes over here now as for the middle post in the back there's this foundation piece from the original barn that was here or shed or garage or whatever it was on the on the land uh, like the plot map thing it says it was a barn but i don't know if that's like a classification or whatever but either way the post would be going right in the middle of that and so i could either i can move it over and put it in the hole or move it over and pass it to the concrete i think i'll save the effort get only a 12 foot pole and then drill it and fasten it into the concrete and i mean it's already pretty secure it's been there for like what 40 some years so it probably won't be going anywhere anytime soon so that works out saves me from having to drill yet another hole but yeah i'm really happy i'll have to trim back those trees a little bit actually a good deal hopefully i can actually open this up to where i can walk past here because i think we own like a couple more feet like three or four feet that way and so then i can actually walk all the way around it to keep it clean and i'm really happy with this this seems to be going really well and man is it big it's gonna be amazing if it works i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya